Welcome everyone to my first tutorial on the MATLAB 3D animation toolbox. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a full example of a launch vehicle system. And we will be using the VREAM Builder software, which does come installed in MATLAB itself. So before we actually move on to MATLAB, I would like to give you guys a little motivation as to why we should be using this program. Firstly, it, it lets us simulate any mechanical or aerospace system in a very user-friendly environment. What this means is that we can import a CAD file directly and apply equations of motion to it. Some of the applications range from launch vehicle systems to flight control systems, as well as autonomous robots and cars. In fact, the US Air Force has switched their Fortran systems to SimSimulink and MATLAB to model and simulate the missile systems. It lets us rapidly adjust parameters and view post process or post process the results. And this means that we can quickly change our inputs and see how the final system is. And finally, this lets us choose our best design option based on a number of inputs and their corresponding simulation results. So in this video, I'll be showing you, so this is the overview of it. Um, firstly, I'll be showing you guys how you can configure the VRAM Builder program. Simulink, in fact, the newer versions, I think since 2011, it has its own program. It's called the 3D World Editor. It is quite similar to VRAM Builder. However, the VRAM Builder is much more intuitive. So I'll be starting off with that as a tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to very quickly imp import a CAD file from pretty much any major CAD system out there. I'll be showing you guys how to set up your world and much more detail will come into that after. I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to simulate any system. It'll be a launch vehicle in this case. And finally, I'll let you guys and I'll teach you guys how to post process results and to view the corresponding trajectory in MATLAB and to find important values such as maximum height, final mass and so on. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I have MATLAB open here. It is R2015A. So the first thing you want to do is configure VRAM Builder. So what you want to type in is VR install dot dash install and then press enter. I'll not press it now because I do have it installed already. So what I will do instead is check that I do have it installed. So what so the command for that would be VR install dash check. It says here that I have the VR editor installed. So now I should change the, the editor from, from the Simulink editor, which I mentioned before, to the VR ML editor, which is the VRAM Builder program. And this is optional. So what you can do is type in, the, type in preferences, press enter. And here it'll say Simulink 3D animation. The default VR ML viewer, keep it the same. This VR ML editor, It'll be this one here, built in. So change it to VRAM Builder and then press OK. The next thing you want to do is to set this program here, VR Build 2, as a shortcut to your desktop. And this program location will be in the description of this application file here, I mean. So press right click and then send to the desktop, create shortcut. And you will see it there. The next step is to save your CAD file as a VRML file. So in this example, I have a rocket here. This is SolidWorks 2015. So this rocket, I can save it as a VRML. So go on File, Save As. And mind you that most CAD systems do have this feature. I'm quite sure. So I'll, I'll give it some name. I'll call it Rocket Launch Video. I will call it I will save it as a VRML, so that should be here. Make sure the format extension is .wrl. And I'll save it to my desktop. It should beep a little bit. And to confirm that, that it has saved, minimize this. And here's my file, launch.video. Ah, oh, sorry, it's moved there. And then double click that. And then it should open the VRML builder which is right here. And from there, we, and now we know that it has opened successfully. 
So this here is just a summary of how to make a VRML world. Now keep in mind that you don't have to follow it step by step. It's just a guide. The first thing I want to do is make a transform node such that the object moves, is able to move. The next thing you do is add a background as well as some camera views. You can add views such that the camera moves with the object itself. Next, you should move the object to its starting point because you want the initial x, y, and z values of, of the simulated model to match with the model in the VRML world because otherwise it'll just jump to its new point. And I'll explain this after when I make the model. The next thing you want to do is change the background color to anything you want. And you can also add background elements such as tanks, vehicles, ground, and so on, which is quite cool. So now you have the CAD file open in the VR ML Builder. Click it once and drag it. As you can see, that has just opened the transform node. Now this allows us to move the object, rotate it, translate it, and so on. So let me zoom out there. Now you can see that there's a glitch. If you save it now, that is the new location. And if I try again, it's moving around. So it's okay now. Next, click on the background icon to add the default background. It's the one here. It shows you a blue sky, which is just the way it is, the default one. Now let's click on the camera. But before you do that, make sure you're clicking launch video. So that's the main world. Click on this camera here. That will open a viewpoint. So now you want this viewpoint to be your global viewpoint. So that's just a, just a camera from the outside. It's not on the vehicle itself. Click on this plus sign here. You see the set bind. Edit Boolean, true. Now we can move the camera around in real time. So if I zoom out there. Now let's say that I want to set this camera far away from the object. So I will click on position. And I will change these axis values to something I want to do. So I will say 0, 0, 0. So I'm moving it here. So note that this Z value is out the page. You have X going this way to my right. Positive Y is upward and positive Z is out the page. So I will say I'll say that from my Z value. And Y is upward, so I will say 4000. That should be it. Now let's add a camera on the object itself. First, let me rename this. I'll call it Rocket. Now, if you want a camera which moves with the object, you want to go on children, which is here. Go go up and click on this camera here. But first, let's add a description to the camera we made before, before, so we can go to it whenever we need to. So double click description and call it far, far away. Same with this one here, this viewpoint. Do the same as you did before. Set bind to true and change the location to something which you want. I'll say 5000. So this camera should move with the object itself and you will see this after in MATLAB. So now we have made two cameras. I'll change this description here to GoPro. So there's something here which you can click and this changes the camera. So you, you can see these are the two cameras we made. So far away is go to. So if I press go to here, it'll take me to the camera far away. And if I say GoPro, which is the one here, it'll jump there. So that way we know we have made two cameras there. 
So I did make a small mistake before. I forgot to show you guys how to change the unit of a VRML file. But that is a quite simple fix. So what you need to do is go in SolidWorks, File, Save As. Click on Options. And then save it as a meter. Before I saved it in millimeters, so that was a small mistake. But it's fixed now. And then I went back into Launch Video. And then I just changed some of the numbers around. So everything stays the same, but just the values of the numbers will be a bit different because the units are now in meters. So you need to divide everything by a thousand in the X, Y, and Z locations. But keep in mind that everything else stays is the same. So that's my updated launch video file. Everything else, everything is the same, but I just changed some of the values as I said before. So this position here of the global camera, I changed the name, sorry. Uh, I changed the name here to far and then changed the position to 20. It was 20,000 before, so I just fixed that. So press OK. And then same with the onboard camera. I The, the name stays as GoPro and I changed the position to a more realistic value. Closer. So if, if I go back out, this, this is my Go, GoPro view, my closed view. And that's the far view. Now, this takes only like 10 seconds to do, so it is not that painful. So, so, okay, so now let's add a texture or another object to the world. So before we do that, we need to find the MATLAB examples which have these worlds saved in. So for here, and you can also make your own custom file files which you want to add. So for example, I'll show you something here. So the first thing you want to do is go in this location, which is there. It does take a long to find. It took me a long time to find. So I'll put it in the description to make it easier for you guys. So there's this one right here. C, Program Files, MATLAB, Server, 2015A, Toolbox, SL, Viriam, Program, and Worlds. Now these files here are made by MATLAB. So these are built-in files. And I'll show you a quick example of how to add an, an object. It is quite simple. So I'll open Nightboat. This is an example here. I'll zoom out. So this is a cool thing which MATLAB has made before. And the boat file corresponds to boat as obvious. So this one here. To confirm that, just press close it and then press Control Z to get it back. So if, if I want to add this boat, the first thing you want to do is go on boat, select this file boat, right click, add to library, and object. Oh, it crashed. So I'll, I'll start again. So, so did, did, there we are. Um, just want to go on, just want to do this quick, quickly again. Go on boat, add to library, an object, and change this to something you want to do. So I'll call it ship. Boat, that can be the same. So let's change this category to transportation in the water. So, so, so keep these in mind and exit from here. So I'll open launch again. So this is what we have, our file. If I go on, so to add the boat in here, the thing you need to do is select new world, libraries, import from, and objects and now go on transporter of water and find bo and find ship so we have several things to choose choose from here but so miscellaneous and an arrow sports anything you want water transportation water and just add ship so drag the ship into your world so the boat jumps there and as you can see he there's a small ship here. So you can move this around. The thing you need to do for that is, uh, no, not this one here, translation. So I just changed the Y and, and it jumped up. So I'll make the Y zero. I'll move it in Z a little bit towards me. So I'll say four and I'll move it a little bit down. So in Y, so I'll call it negative 10. Sorry, maybe that's too much. So that, that, that looks okay. And if you want to move it in X, you can do that. So I'll call it two. So now it looks like the rocket is launching off a ship, which is nice. And you can press okay, 
zoom out and save a project.